video, I'm going to be vlogging a reading week in my life, a realistic week of reading. I have kind of been in a slump, but not really. The school semester has only been four weeks already, and I've only finished one book. But that's okay, because I've been trying to figure out a routine with school and homework and just everything. I also wanted to vlog this week of reading because I noticed when I film reading vlogs, I read a lot more because it's like I'm holding myself accountable. But we'll see, because I know this is supposed to be realistic, but I don't want it to be boring. So I actually have class in about an hour i'm gonna stay at school for about like two hours after that to get some work done maybe get some reading done and then later on i'm gonna go and hang out with my friend because she's leaving for college tomorrow i don't think i've been in a slump because i have time to read like i literally have free time and downtime just don't make time for it the book that i finished last night which is the only book that i've read in september so far and the only book that i've read since the semester has started was the bodyguard by Catherine center i rated this a three star because i'm not a big fan of fake dating this has a more realistic scenario of why they're fake dating. Hannah is the bodyguard of Jack. Jack is super famous. His mom is sick. He has a stalker. So they hire a bodyguard but because he doesn't want the mom to know and worry. It's like, why do you have a bodyguard? They just pretend they're dating. I liked it. I didn't love it, but I would definitely, definitely, definitely recommend this if you like fake dating but, or even in general. This book is good. It just wasn't my favorite and it took me a really long time to read but I'm not trying to let that determine my rating for it. And then after I finished that book last night, I picked up Once Upon a Broken Heart by Stephanie Garber, my first ever fantasy book actually. Pretty good so far. I only read two chapters last night and then this morning I read chapter three, four, five, and six. So then at the end of this week, I'll calculate how many pages I read that day. Yeah, this book is really like easy to read. Like the text is really big. Once Out of Broken Heart was also one of my September prompt TBR jars from my TBR jar video. I'm also reading Credence still, but I haven't picked up that book in a really long time. But then sometimes I'll be in the mood to read it. So it's like goes back and forth. Like I'll read like a million different books all at once. I will update you guys later. Take a look out the window. Spirit goes up as the rain falls down. I've been sitting on the wrong course. Keep it together like I did before. Think that I Hey guys, I'm on page 48, chapter 7. Chapter 6 was hella long for no reason. Oh, I'm with Mina. Oh. Hi. Her last day. Go Aggies. Woo! We got tap and we went to Target and then I got haul time in this reading blog. I wanted to get red nail polish because I saw clips of my red long acrylics that I had last year, but I don't want acrylics anymore. Short nail girl era. So I got red nail polish. And then I saw these press-ons because I've just been using press-ons for like a year and a half instead of getting my nails on Hello. Look how cute. Because Mina's leaving tomorrow. She gave me her book that she does not like. She got to page 30 and it already like gutted her. She gave me Heartless by Marissa Meyer, Queen of Hearts origin story. Catherine, is that her name? Mm -hmm. I thought her name was like Hearts. No. <laughs> Fantasy era. Can you just stop saying era? Like I cringe when era. I say that. No, you know when you catch yourself saying like- When I catch myself saying slay? Yes! I was gonna- I, was gonna say, I hate it so much. There's like, what's another one? Slay. It's giving. Oh! That's terrible. No, I'll say period and I'll say per. Like, I don't care. But, like, slay, it's giving. Era. Yeah, how many times I say era in this? You said red era. Red era. <laughs> what else am I supposed to say? I'm enjoying red right now. Anyway, my reading update. I haven't read. Just this doesn't count as part of my book buying ban because I didn't buy it. Oh, good way to get around. Now you should <laughs> I'll let you if you trust in me. Tiny rings, I'm chasing around and with no love in me. Right, round it goes. Tell me what you love seeing. It is Tuesday the next day. By the way, I'm filming this reading week in my life vlog from Monday through Friday. Total of pages read on Monday. I did read later on that night. I read a total of 32 pages yesterday. Today I had school. I was there all day. So I got some reading done. I read as of right now 24 pages, which is literally the beginning of part two. Very like fairy tale esque. I really like it. Oh. I even already highlighted some stuff. I want to get a good chunk of reading in today. Yeah. chapter 14 page 109 i've been reading for a little bit she just got assigned her first boy that she has to kiss from Jax. but Jax is like he's giving me like overprotective vibe of a boyfriend like being very dominant and 
I'm like, I'm loving it because I think the romance happens between Jax and Evangeline, but I'm not, I'm not sure because she's in love with, I don't know his name. It's L-U-C, so I don't know if it's Luke or Luce something, crazy fantasy shit. First of all, I did not know her hair was pink. Second, at the beginning of the book, I didn't mention this earlier, I totally forgot. Also, look at my nail. I... Do I have ADHD? What's happening? At the beginning of the book, when Evangeline and Jax had their first interaction, he called her pet. I really didn't like that and it really made me want to gag. Certain terms of endearment names in book, I'm like 100% all for. I've never heard somebody say pet. I don't know if it's a fantasy thing or what have you, but oh my god. If they say babe or baby, all for it. I know a lot of people don't like when the characters call each other baby, but I love it. I don't know if it's like you gotta be in a relationship in real life to like experience that and then like when it happens in books like if I was never in a relationship before and then I would be reading books them calling each other baby I feel like I would be like grossed out but you just gotta I think it's an in real life thing I don't know. Right now he's calling her little fox. Mm -hmm. Fox is her last name. For some reason it's not bothering me as much as pet bothers me. I read a pretty good chunk for what today is. Typically I wouldn't be reading for this long. Come to that point of reading where it's like you finish a chapter and you want to read the next one because you see that the next chapter is not that long so you're like okay i'm gonna kill that shit and then you just keep reading and keep reading like that's how the book is making me feel she doing her thing i will update you guys if something crazy happens or tomorrow you'll see <laughs> vlog so i'm with michelle um we're at half price books and even though i'm on a book buying ban and so is she <laughs> we were at chick-fil-a and we were having a debrief for almost two hours <laughs> we haven't seen each other since like june yeah. i vlogged that she's getting icebreaker she said it's good so it was very spicy like <laughs> it really threw me off but it was like that like, no it was just like it was, he was very dominant oh well, i'm getting it then. <laughs> oh look it <laughs> girl <laughs> cut that out she has a man bun, I can't. <laughs> I can't. We'll update later. Okay. Hey guys, it is a lot later. It is currently 9.55. I honestly got a good chunk of reading in today in the morning. I knew for one that I would be hanging out with my friends. I didn't think that we were going to get much reading and I haven't seen her in a while. I didn't get any books today. So, so far, I have read 50 pages today. Realistically, I do not read as soon as I wake up like I did this morning, but I fell asleep reading this book. I would wake up in the middle of the night and I was thinking about the book. I don't think that's like a five star feeling thing where it's like you think about it nonstop, but it was just because I fell asleep reading. Yesterday I ended up reading 62 pages total. I want to read a little bit more than that today. I'm in the middle of chapter 26. Look how hello i was watching some reading vlogs of spoiler free of people reading this apparently i'm at pretty much at the mark where it's supposed to start picking up and i was like oh it wasn't already picked up before because this is my first fantasy i have nothing to compare it to from page one to page 170 where i'm at right now i've had a lot of fun reading it the writing is very i don't know the word for it right now detail i don't know what it is but i have been having trouble like imagining things even like imagining the dress that evangeline was wearing in one of the chapters it took me a little bit to imagine that and like i totally forgot she was even wearing a dress the detail in it is just so good as the book as a whole but like me as a reader why am i struggling yeah that's my update i'll talk to you guys later hey guys it is the next day today's thursday it's 11 22 so i'm here all day at school last night after I talked to you guys, I did not end up reading at all. I kept scrolling on TikTok. So I read 50 pages yesterday. So far today, I've only read 10 pages. I'm waiting for my therapy session. I have therapy at 11.30. I got a matcha and it's hurting my stomach. I'm gonna read a little bit more. It's like that anticipation, like right before you have therapy. It's like, you know, you're gonna like feel so much better after, but it's like... Okay, I'm gonna read until I have therapy. It's 11.30. Hello. 
I'm good, how are you? which is the last day of this video. Yesterday, I read a total of 47 pages. See, I try to get all my reading done at night because like I'm so busy with school in the day and I wanna finish all my homework before I get to doing school. But I want to finish all my homework before I get to any reading. After I'm done with my homework, I just feel the need to wind down. And by that, I just go on my phone. I need to work on that. I didn't have any school today. So far today, I've read like 30-ish pages. I'm currently on chapter 36. I'm on page 250. Okay, I want to try to finish this tonight. I'm going to like discipline myself so hard to try to finish this tonight. So I can start another book. I don't know what it is, but I feel terrible that like I only read one book in this video. In like typical reading vlogs in general and then also in my other video reading vlogs that I've done on my channel. I've read at least two to three books, but this is also realistic how much I read in a week. Been very busy with school. And I also just want to finish this and just get through a lot of my TBR. I was thinking about like once I finish this, what book am I going to read next? I don't want to read like a whole new book. I'm obviously not going to buy one because I want a book buying ban. And I don't want to read a book on my Kindle that like I don't have the physical copy in because I need to get through all the books that are on my physical copy. So the only books I can think of that I have on Kindle as well as the physical copy are Terms and Conditions by Lauren Asher, Sometimes I Lie by Alice Feeney, and Things We Hide from the Light by Lucy Score. But I don't really feel in the mood to read a thriller next. It's literally only between Things We Hide from the Light and Terms and Conditions, which are both really fat books. And I typically read two books at the same time if I'm reading one on Kindle. So, I don't know, let me just get through this, try to finish this. There was like a hun hundred pages ago, I literally was very lost of what I was reading. I had to like reread it so many times, that's why it's like taking me a little bit. But she's had her second kiss that Jax told her that she needed to do. I'm literally almost on part three. I'll update you guys later. I'm gonna be so honest. I have not read at all. I've been watching TikTok. Remember when I said I was going to discipline myself and read tonight and finish the book? Yeah, I haven't. But I did pick what I'm gonna read after this. It's not even the fact that like, oh, I want to finish this book already. Fantasy, I don't know if that's like for me or I'm just, my head hurts from this and I haven't read any other book this week. And normally I'll read two to three books at one time. This has been the only book that I've read this whole entire week. After this, I'm going to be reading, I posted a poll on my spam story because that's where I typically, like if I'm really struggling of what book I want to read next, I just ask like my spam account my finsta. I posted between things we have in the light and terms and conditions as of right now. Terms and conditions is winning, which I'm fine with. It has less pages, but it's also marriage of convenience, so I don't know how I feel about that. I'm going to be reading that next because it's also on Kindle, but I'm also going to be reading Swear on This Life by Renee Carlino because that has like 300 pages like flat. And my camera battery is flashing, which means it's a sign to continue reading. Guys, it's 12.50 in the morning. I'm on the last few pages. I'm like nervous. I'll talk more about it tomorrow, but just I need to hold on. I'm so confused. What? I'm confused. Wait, what? I'm gonna reread that. I'm gonna come back in the morning. Hey guys, so I'm going to wrap up all the pages that I have read this week, giving a total number. Last night I finished Once Upon a Broken Heart. I ended up watching some TikToks about this because I was kind of confused like towards the end. And I think I'm like a little more clear of what happened. It ended off on a cliffhanger. So I'm going to have to read The Ballad of Never After, which is the second book. But I don't know when that'll be because like I said, I'm on my book buying band.
The Ballad of Never After is the second one. So I don't know when I'm going to read that one. There's also a third one. I think it hasn't came out yet. A Curse of True Love. I rated this a 3.5 out of 5 stars. I didn't feel feelings of me loving this book, which would be a 4 star read for me, but I liked it. It was my first fantasy. It was really fun to read. There were moments where I was like gasping and I was like really into the book, but I didn't love it. I liked it enough to finish the rest of the series. And then last night, after I finished filming and watching a bunch of videos, I started my next read, which was Terms and Conditions. I'm reading it on my Kindle because this book is really fat and and I think I'll feel better and like read faster on my Kindle. So I read 20 pages last night of it. I'm on chapter three right now. Marriage of Convenience. Don't know how I feel about that yet because I'm very iffy on fake dating books like I mentioned at the beginning of the video. Marriage of Convenience seems to be like in that realm. So far, I actually enjoy it. I just jumped right into the story. I'll do like more of a review on it in a later video. I read the first one, The Fine Print, in like April of this year. I didn't like it. Everybody was saying Terms and Conditions is way better. His grandfather tasked him to find somebody to marry and have a kid with them like what because he's so like grumpy and just like needs somebody to soften up his heart is basically why well, let's go over how many pages i read this week monday i read 32 pages tuesday i read 62 pages wednesday i read 50 pages thursday i read 47 pages friday i read 185 pages of once upon a broken heart and finished it and then also i read 20 pages of terms and conditions which gives me a total of 396 pages read this week which is honestly better than any other week i've been doing recently. I know a bunch of booktubers they'll read like a thousand pages in a week and that's because some of them have more time to read and I'm in school. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below if you've read Once Upon a Broken Heart and you can explain some things to me about it because I'm a little lost here. Subscribe. Let me know if you want any more reading vlogs. I definitely will try to do it because it holds me more accountable to get some reading done and get through my physical TBR. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Hey, I know it's just a weekend. But I'm sure you'll never see the